There's way too many books out there telling women what they need to do. What we really want to do is bring awareness to the men and the leaders in the organization. Unless we have these conversations, unless we read, unless we educate ourselves, nothing will change. I think the first barrier really comes down to, if you're talking about the workplace, comes down to pay and compensation. I am now aware, in a way that I wasn't before, of how fortunate I've been to get to this position and the external forces that have brought me here. You start to read your book and you sit there and you go, wait, still? A lot of the stuff just hasn't changed. Like, I'm not crazy. This doesn't just happen to me. Why were we so off on the compensation piece mm -hmm. for so long? It's a shame it's had to get to the point where women are having to reach out to men and call them in. Mm. But it's great that we're now here. And I feel that sometimes we haven't self-actualized yet. We don't want to make this a woman's problem, a woman's solution. We want to educate. I'm very passionate about it. Diversity is about the numbers. Inclusion is about the culture, how you feel. You know, if I wouldn't call a man a boy, and there's a new boy in accounting, then I probably shouldn't say there's a new You're girl good. in accounting. Right. This move to a more inclusive culture. So we're not sitting in 2052 talking about the same thing that we're talking about today.